camera set. Day one, we're ready to go. And in those moments, yeah. it needs to be a really smooth attachment. Yeah. And set. Action! Sides of a Horn is a story about two brother-in-laws. One is a dedicated anti-poaching ranger who has committed to saving the rhino from extinction. God, that was beautiful. All right, let's go for another one. On the other side is his brother-in-law who, out of desperation, slips into the world of poaching. Cut. Cut We're having almost a mini civil war going on in some of these communities where you have APUs like Dumi and you have poachers like Selo. And so you have these family members that are essentially going to battle with one another. I'm from the township, so I know and I've, I've, I've met such people like Silo. The film is really a character study based on actual events about how two guys from the same level of poverty, the same place, even the same family, can go opposite ways in this war. And the effect that that's having on the rhino that is about 10 years away from extinction. The idea of, oh no, we used to have rhino. It almost feels like how we learned about dinosaurs. Action! Literally just yesterday morning while we were shooting, little baby rhinos had been killed at about 4 or 5 a.m. It's an everyday occurrence. We're losing a rhino daily across the country, across the continent, and across the world. <laughs> We're here in uh, the bush. I will not tell you where exactly, because it's better not to tell you. You can run. Wildlife crime is the fourth largest illegal industry, and it's at an all-time high. A single rhino horn can go for up to $300,000 on the black market. It's a very difficult decision to make when you're out in the field and you, you come across a poaching group. Our last resort is to get into conflict with a poacher and for it to end in, in a fatality. And just keep walking until I call cut. Action. We hope that in the combination of this film, that people can see just how interlinked nature and the human being are. Local people not even aware that rhino poaching is happening within their own village. Even just being here uh, filming, we've already been talking to so many different community leaders and involving the community as much as we can. For me, the only real way to get to the root of this and solve it is through education, and it's through educating the next generation. South Africa has 70% of the world's rhino population. If we lose the war here, rhinos are dead. Save it for our children, man. Save it for our children, save it for our future. <laughs>